Well, hello, everybody. This is Byron King with Investor Intel, and we are with Abraham Drost of Clean Air Metals, which is a platinum palladium uh, exploration company located in uh, mid-continent Canada, just north of Lake Superior in a very, very rich uh, mining district. Uh, Abraham, it's great to be with you. Uh, we are, we're, we, we, you've got a company called Clean Air Metals, which is focused on the platinum and palladium, uh, you know, plays in the middle of the continent. What is going on with platinum and palladium? Some people out in the viewer land might look at this and say, wait a minute, if we're going to get rid of internal combustion cars, we don't need, you know, catalytic converters, who needs platinum and palladium? So who needs platinum and palladium? Why are, why are they hot metals right now? Look, I mean, palladium sort of led the charge um, from 2016 when it was priced in the 550 US per ounce range. Johnson Matthey at the time was predicting that palladium was going to go to $2,000 an ounce by 2020. My colleague and executive chairman of Clean Air Metals, Jim Gallagher, uh, was actually a CEO of North American Palladium at the time with the Lac de Zille mine. Uh, he could hardly believe that three times predict, you know, price uh, movement uh, prediction. But there was one very notable party that did believe Johnson Matthey in 2016, and that was uh, Neil Froneman, the CEO of a, a small South African gold producer called Sibanye Gold. And being South African, he knew the value of the PGE suite, platinum palladium. And uh, he bought the Stillwater Mining Complex in Montana. And everybody thought he was nuts or was wondering what the heck he just did. Well, by 2019, he was the top performing diversified gold producer in the world, bar none, number one. And why? Because of the income stream from Stillwater on the back of $2,000 palladium. So uh, Johnson Matthey was exactly right. Johnson Matthey today in 2023 is all in on PGs. They have sold their battery and metal assets in favor of PGs. Why? Because platinum is the next one. Platinum, you must have platinum to produce green hydrogen. You must have platinum in a fuel cell to use green hydrogen. And quite frankly, uh, people like Johnson Matthey, people like SFA Global, uh, you know, the consultancy in, uh, in London, believe that platinum has the potential to go to 2400 US on the back of the green hydrogen revolution. And we're reading about hydrogen every day. So this is to, to answer your question uh, more directly, Byron, this is an element suite that has torque because it's needed in this world that we live in, especially through the climate change imperative. I see. Now, now historically, quite a bit of uh, platinum and palladium has come out of Russia, a com company like Norilsk, for example. But you know, for obvious reasons, uh, you know, we are probably not going to be doing too much trade with Russia in you know the next few years, let's say, or who, maybe longer. You never know. So, uh, what what does the supply demand look like? I mean, where 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 else in the world besides Russia what, could people get platinum and palladium? Uh, you know, besides you know, if you know elsewhere besides North America. Or, or well, South, Af South Africa comes to mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, South Africa and Russia collectively uh, represent uh, about 35 to 40 percent each of the PG uh, markets. Uh, obviously, Russia has its problems right now uh, and the world is having problems because of Russia. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, South Africans, uh, it's no it's not easy street there, especially with the ESCOM scandal. And, uh, you know, the lack of infrastructure to support, uh, you know, a vibrant uh, industrial sector. Uh, that's why uh, parties like Triple Flag and Elliott Management, who majority own them, uh, are looking for domestic sources of platinum palladium. We have platinum palladium geologically in a one to one ratio uh, at Thunder Bay North. Now, uh, you know, and then from that perspective, uh, you know, the. Uh, the dynamics around, uh, you know, copper, nickel and so forth. These are good sweeteners uh, as well in our project. So I, is it fair to say that in North America, you know, you've got the Stillwater complex in Montana, which you mentioned with Sabanier, but 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 and where you where you are north of Thunder Bay, are, are these pretty much the only two major uh, locales that we know of where there would be significant platinum palladium? Well, the, the South Africans are here. That tells you uh, the South Africans in Palo Platinum took over Lac de Zille. They took over Stillwater. They've taken the two principal PGE assets in North America. Uh, is there potential for more? Absolutely. The critical mineral strategy of Ontario and now the new federal 
critical mineral strategy will provide incentives to see more exploration to build that domestic supply chain. We're now seeing President Biden uh, talking about critical metals, uh, metals on prime time. You know, the three amigos coming together and saying, you know, we got to get together and, and build out this domestic supply chain. And so it's become very strategic, very topical. And, and quite frankly, um, you know, we love the green hydrogen market because we got platinum. Uh, we've also got palladium. And what Triple Flag loved about uh, Thunder Bay North, our project, was that, you know, as internal combustion comes off, green hydrogen is going up. And so this one-to-one -one ratio gives perfect optionality in those, in those uses. I see. And so uh, let's, let, we'll wrap it up by sort of refocusing back on clean air metals. Your company, Clean Air Metals, trades on the, OT, on the OTC in the U.S. It trades on the TSX Venture in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a website, you have a presentation on there and fact sheets uh, and a point of contact. Yes. for viewers out there who want to learn more. Uh, it's a hot metal in a hot market and um, you've got money in the bank and plenty of geology uh, under your boots, if that's, uh, if that's a good way to sum it up. Indeed, yeah, no, we're very gratified as I say, uh, and I'm a resident of Thunder Bay. I love the fact of having a, a project that I can drive to, check out the core shack, be involved with. I've had projects in, you know, Guyana, South America. I've had them in Nunavut, and uh, having one in the backyard in the in the, uh, you know, the latter stages of my career. I've been at this for thirty five years. Uh, is 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 tremendous. It's uh, it's exhilarating actually, and and to have something that's so relevant to where we need to go as a, as a planet. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Abraham. Uh, we wish you well, and viewers out there, again, please check out Clean Air Metals uh, if you're looking for this. If you're looking for a great investment in this particular metal space, it's staring you right in the face. Thank you. Thank you, Byron.